Gonna be a great year, starting right now, baby. Right now. Only in the NBA. What a way to start out your new career. Well, we can finally say it. The, and tipping off the NBA season, here are the starting lineups. First for Brooklyn, Mills out there with Curry. And it's Andre Drummond at 6'1 and 275 pounds, the big athletic presence out of the University of Connecticut inside its center. And it's Durant in at the first. And for Milwaukee, Holiday out there with Allen. And inside out of Stanford University, a skill post score with tremendous size, the seven-footer, Brooklyn. Number 24. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Well, there's plenty to like about him as a player, but you know, one thing that really stands out is the quick trick. He can catch the ball in space, defenders all over, but you know, in an instant, lets that shot go, and he is accurate. And Steve, you know, his ability to come in and rattle off 10, 20 points in no time flat, that's a gift and a real asset for any team. Some guys need a while to get going, not him. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Yes, Kevin, I was able to speak with Mike Budenholzer for a minute. He said that the key to the game will be how well they defend Kyrie Irving, adding he's shown himself to be one of the premier point guards in the game already. Whether it's passing, shooting, or penetrating, we need our guys in the backboard to really get up into him, and our bigs need to be ready to bring help. Guys, you can bet that Irving will be their focus defensively. Thanks, Doris. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. Irving gets it to go. And that's not just any basket, folks. Those are his first points here in the NBA. I'll tell you what, one way he has really improved his game is his ability to score inside. That was already one of his strong suits, Steve. But even so, he continued to work on it and make it even better. Free throw, good Irving. Milwaukee's gone three to seven from three-point range in the first quarter. The feed to Allen. Low block shot on the way. He chopped it by Irving. Sent that one away, but after it touched the backboard, the refs are on it, and they call him for goaltending. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Irving attacking outside for Durant. Back to Irving. Outside Thomas. Let's it go from deep. Good. Thomas got himself on the board with three there. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. Milwaukee in the lead. Matthews sets a screen for Holiday. Baseline J on the way. Blake Griffin pulls it in. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. Out of bounds, Milwaukee takes possession. Let's pause to take a look at the teams that were tops in field goal percentage last season. Number one, the Nets. In the third spot, the Bucks. You know, each of these squads made a commitment to improving their shooting percentage. So that's a matter of concentration on the kinds of shots you get, and they had outstanding results. They're both hoping for even better things this year. Curry's checked in for Brooklyn. Holiday off a pitch for Middleton. Holiday goes in. And he continues to search for his rhythm. It's eluded him to this point. Irving for three. That's good, and a nice assist from Durant. And it's six points for Kyrie Irving. The D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been of the three-point variety. Yeah, and unless they make some rotations and closeouts defensively, there's more to come, Clark. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Nets. Boy, their frenetic defense has really been impressive, putting a lot of pressure on ball handlers and turning them over. 
You know, another thing they've done well, guys, this first half is challenge shooters and change shots. A bunch of block shots early. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Matthews, no good. And here's Brooklyn. They're on a 14 to four run. He dishes it to Thomas. No good on the three. That's excellent defense right there on the perimeter. And Middleton kicks to Matthews. And that one's good. Matthews has got his first basket of the night. You know, the only tough part of that basket for him was getting into such good position. The rest of it seemed easy. Irving against Holiday. Matthews with the steal. Passes it to Ronda Jacumbo. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, Middleton the pass to Matthews. Nice ball movement by Noah. Just fine on the clock. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. I tell you what, he is so difficult to guard, especially on a shot like that. And a new group in for the Nets. And now, brought to you by Sprint. It's the first game of the... The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And we welcome you back to start the quarter. Side Aldridge. And the pass to Edwards. 132 left in the third quarter of the game. Irving drives in. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. The Cobra. Lethal. The Bucks trail. And it's their first look at this year's Brooklyn team here for their first regular season game. Well, not one of these games went their way last season. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. All right, a chance to check out the stats for Kevin Durant. Great year for him last year. Fifth in free throw percentage, eighth in scoring. And with that smooth stroke of his, he also climbed all the way into the top 15 in terms of three-point shooting accuracy. Yeah, and you talked about it, Steve, what a stellar season it was for him at the strike. I mean... They are freebies. They're called free for a reason. And he certainly made a... Um... One thirty left in the fourth. Irving loses to Drummond. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. That's on Brooke Lopez. Two teams, Clark, fighting tooth and nail near the top of the conference. That hurts to get swept. It's certainly demoralizing. You can't help but feel like that team has got your number. They're handling you all the time. Milwaukee making a switch here. He's off on the second. Bucks trail by 14. Allen with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. Here's Holiday. Pass to Anda to Kumbo. This is the Middleton. Shot clock at six. It's Allen on the wing. Well, it's obvious the halftime adjustments they made have made an impact. He's been slowed down here tremendously in the second half. Here's Irving. And the basket good. And the Nets lead by 16. Well, his body control is what I notice. I think that jumps off the page when you watch him play, even with a defender draped all over. He's able to find a way to get to the rim and get the shot to go in. And something else he's able to do that very few players can is change his shot as he's in the air without it affecting his accuracy. I mean, that's a unique skill. And it really helps him make buckets against tight defense. Raw. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Jumps up. They get the rebound. Middleton can't get it to go. 
Well, those chances are almost always two points for him. I, I guess the defense did what it had to do to bother him. The Bucks shooting 41% for the game. Ande Tacumbo gets to Holiday. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. First free throw is good. And a new group in for the Nets. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. And here is Aldrich. Outside Irving. Yep, it's good. And the crowd here, of course, not happy about the outcome. But you know what? We saw a team tonight that came in prepared to do battle right? on the road, and they clearly wanted to win. You know, they were determined to steal this game, and they showed this team, played harder, and got the job. Tonight, you made your NBA debut coming off the bench. Were you hoping for more minutes, or was this still a successful beginning to your career? Oh, it was a good start, no doubt. I'm still getting used to this team, you know, learning how everyone plays. But Coach and my teammates have been great so far, and I already feel like I'm light years ahead of where I was at the beginning of training camp. I got plenty of room to improve, too. So I look at tonight's game like a small first step in what will hopefully be a long and successful career.